Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this song tutorial video. In the first part, I'm going to count out the song's chords so you'll know exactly how long to play each one. In the second part, I'm going to play through the entire song so you can practice along with me. So stick around to the end, and if you find this video helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, etc. Before we begin, you should click on that link at the top of the description, and that'll take you to a chord chart containing all the chords and lyrics of the song you're about to practice. I recommend printing it out right now and grabbing a pencil so you can write in the number of beats per chord as I call them out to you. If you see a chord you don't recognize and just click on link number two in the video's description and that'll take you to a list of chord tutorial videos. Finally, if you want to learn more songs once this video is over, click on link number three and that'll take you to a spreadsheet containing all of my chord charts and song tutorial videos. Now let's get started. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play More Than Ashes. And let's start by going over the timing of the verse chords. Um, and we're going to start by demonstrating verse one just so you can hear how it sounds. I'm and what these ashes say, they will fade away when he comes for me. By grace, through faith in Christ I'm saved. If you're curious about my strum pattern, um, by the way, what I'm doing, I'm kind of building off of um, the pattern down, ghost, down, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, down, down. So that's like an eight, um, eighth note pattern. So down, ghost, down, ghost, up, ghost, up, down, down, down. One more time. Down, ghost, down, ghost, up. Ghost up, down, 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 up. So use it if you like it, or use something totally different if you don't. Um, I also want to point out the G over F sharp. If you're not familiar with that chord, play a G. And then take your thumb, stick it on fret 2 of the low E string, and remove your middle finger. That's your G over F sharp. All right, so let's count the timing of the chords I just played. We have that first G for four beats. I'm more two. G over F sharp for four, two, three, four, C for two, D for two, and then G for four. So that pattern plays through twice um, in the verses. So again, that's G for four, G over F sharp for four, C over E for two, D suspended for two, and then G for four. All right, now let's do the chorus. And the chorus sounds like this. I am the rose, the joy for which you died. And this I know, I move you with delight. And when my heart condemns on every side, I take refuge in the truth. So we have a pattern of C for two beats, D for two, G for four. And that pattern's gonna play through twice at the beginning. And then you have the same timing for the next line, line three in my heart, that's gonna be C for two, D for two, and then this time it's E minor for four. And then we return to the original chorus pattern of C for two, D suspended for two, and G for four. And um, so when you play those C um, chords, you could of course just play a C, but um, the way all these um, add in suspended chords and slash chords are written actually really um, works well with this song. That C major seven, it's got the note E in it. So I take refuge in the truth. That um, E note is also something you're singing there, so doing the C major 7 makes it sound um, more uh, in sync with the chord than if you did the regular C. Refuge in the truth. It's a little bit more discordant unless you play the C major 7. So I recommend actually doing it that way. And for that, if you're not familiar with the chord, you can play a normal C and then take off your pointer finger and it's the C major 7. All right, um, now we have the bridge, and so 
I'm doing this in the key of G so that you can more easily voice these chords like the G over F sharp. Um, but that puts this song really low. So um, here's here's me singing it, uh, uh, the bridge part, um, you know, in its current key. I am the rose. And so, most people probably can't hit that, so you could go up an octave. I am the rose, I am the lily. Or if you want, you can actually just take a capo and play this song um, capoed, play the exact same chords written, but capoed into whatever key you want. Um, so in the bridge, that was just four beats per chord. I am the rose, G, two, three, four, G over F sharp, two, three, or E minor, two, three, four, and C, two, three, four. Keep the same chords and the same timing for the tag. There's gonna be a wedding. It's the reason that I'm living to marry the land. And um, Again, that was just four beats for every chord in the tag. All right, we've gone through every part of the song, so now I'm gonna play the entire thing and you can practice along with me. And um, if you're concerned about my tempo being too fast for you, then not a problem. You can just go into the playback settings menu and change the playback speed to 0.75x. And um, that'll probably make me sound terrible, but at least you'll be able to keep up uh, much more easily, and that's the important part. All right, so I'm gonna start with um, just the verse chords, and um, then we're gonna go into verse one. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. G over F sharp, two, three, four, and C. Verse one, I'm more than what these ashes say, they will fade away when he comes for me. By grace, through faith in Christ I'm saved, I am not the same. I am the rose, the joy for which you die, and this I know, I move you with delight, and when my heart condemns on every side, I take refuge in the truth. Verse 2, my life is more than meets the eye, I'm hidden now in Christ, and I'm one with Him. My love is real before His eyes, He's ravished by the I am the rose, the joy for which you die, and this I know, I move you with delight, and when my heart condemns on every side, I take refuge in the truth. Hold the G and go to the bridge. I am the rose. I am the lily. I am yours. I am your beauty. I am the rose. I am the lily. I am 
There's gonna be a wedding It's the reason that I'm living To marry the Lamb There's gonna be a wedding The reason that I'm living And here on a G. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to click on link number three and check out my other chord charts and song tutorials. If you want to help me make more videos, you can support me on Patreon using the link below. God bless, and I look forward to seeing you next time.